Hello. Um, long time no see. I have had to been waiting for a few things to arrive. I wanted to do a video about the Hermes pouch that I purchased, but I am still waiting for that item. Um, I have to say I'm not that thrilled with Hermes and I probably won't buy from the store again, specifically the store that I've been working with. So um, anyway, I wanted this video, I wanted to be about eBay shopping and eBay scores because I am a huge lover of secondhand shopping, thrifting, consignment. I sell on Poshmark and use the money to purchase new items a lot of times. Um, and I do love eBay. It's a great place to go for to get a great deal on luxury items for less. And so this haul, or I don't want to say a haul, it's just some things that I have purchased over the course of the last um, few months and found really great deals on items that I'd been wanting and holding out for until I finally found the right price for me. And um, a lot of times you can message sellers and offer less, even if they don't have a buy it now option, um, sorry, best offer option. You can still message them and ask and sometimes they're open to it. Like two of, um, I think two of the items I did that for and it worked out and they, um, once I sent them a message about, hey, would you accept such and such amount? They sent me an offer and I accepted it. So um, I love eBay. One thing to mention is just really paying attention to people's feedback and how many transactions they have. It's fairly easy and straightforward to purchase from power, power sellers um, from Japan and that type of thing. They generally have thousands and thousands of reviews and feedback and, um, and whatnot and transactions. So that is sort of a surefire thing as far as um, getting an authentic item and whatnot. Um, buying from uh, just one-off sellers, sometimes you just kind of have to look through their transactions, their feedback, um, and gauge it from there. Um, see what kind of information they're putting, the photos that they share, because generally those things will dictate whether or not you know they're you know that they know what they're talking about and that the items that they're selling are um authentic so it's been a lot of trial and error i have never purchased anything on ebay that wasn't authentic so i've got really lucky in that sense but i've also done my research always um and just been very aware of what i'm purchasing who i'm purchasing from um, i don't take their word for it being authentic i do my own uh, research and look through the photos. If I don't see a photo that um, I need to verify authenticity, then I'll ask for it. So um, yeah, that's kind of like some basic little tips and tricks. And of course, if you guys have any other questions, I'm happy to give you my own personal advice and experience from, um, from buying and selling on eBay over the years. But um, I have generally had great success on there and I'm thankful for that. So I have four Louis Vuitton SLGs. Um, SLGs is small leather goods and I have, and that's generally like a wallet, a pouch, something small that's not a handbag. That's kind of what um, luxury houses deem an SLG. And then I have uh, some inserts for two of the items that I want to just share with you and an Hermes scarf that I'm very excited about because it's something that I've wanted for a while. So I think I'll start with Hermes and I bought this from a lady on eBay. Um, her store was closing so she was having some pretty good deals. The Hermes 90 centimeter scarves retail currently for 510 US dollars. Right now it's uh, May 2023, so that's the current price, May 2023. Um, 510 USD plus tax. So this scarf I ended up getting um, from her for 395 plus tax, and I think I did pay um, 
shipping as well. Um, she wasn't willing to wiggle on the price because it was already a pretty good deal. It was brand new in box. Um, so here's the box it came in and it came with um, receipt. Uh, she included a little booklet that actually has nothing to do with the scarf itself. Um, the tissue paper was in there and um, the ribbon. And the scarf that I got, which I already have the twilly of this. Oh, I'd also, um, well, I'll show you in a minute, but I got the, Danse Pacifique is the name of the style. You can see it written there. Um, and it is just so, so beautiful. It has shells and feathers and um, it's kind of like, I don't even know what kind of pattern, very like native or um, a little southwesty, maybe like um, like Pacific Island, and I think that's I'm thinking that's why it's called Dans Pacifique, um, because it's probably like Pacific Islands. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Anyway, this is so beautiful, brand new, um, with tags, by the way, right here. So if you're curious or interested, you can look at the style number and whatnot. Um, yeah, I'm super, super happy with this. I wear these scarves like all year. Um, in the winter, I wear them around my neck. Um, in the summer, I tie them on uh, in different ways as tops, which I've shared on my Instagram. Um, and then they also look really good. Tied it up on your hair and on a bag. Like there's just so many ways you can use these. I've talked, I have a whole video about sil silk scarves. I just love the versatility of them because it's not like a bag or something that you can just use one way. You can literally use these like 10 different ways. So I really find that a silk scarf is a really good investment. And I say that loosely, meaning like if you want to put your money into something luxury, I think a silk scarf is a fantastic way to go and I highly recommend. Um, so that is my first item. I'm really, really happy. I saved probably a hundred and hundred, a little over a hundred dollars. Um, and when I was going to just, when I knew I was going to buy this anyway, I was just going to go on the website and buy it cause it's still available. Um, I first did a search and just found it for less and any money I can save is great. So, um, that's the num the first thing. And then, um, I wanted like a really cute little unique pouch to keep, this is so weird, like tampons in because I always have a little pouch in my bag with girly stuff, but I wanted it to be like cute and um, there's just something about pulling an SLG, a luxury SLG out of your bag and it just feels more fun, more special. I know it seems like kind of unnecessary, but I mean, we just have this one life, so you may as well enjoy it. Um, so I was researching like tons and tons of different pouches, different sizes, shapes, whatever. Um, I, I kind of like all of my small leather goods in my bags to match. So everything in my bag is Louis Vuitton monogram because it's just my absolute favorite. Um, I came across what they called um, a golf ball holder or golf ball pouch. And this is it right here. It's so, so cute. And it is supposed to hold three, um, three golf balls, but I have <laughs> girly stuff inside. So like tampons and pads and whatnot. Um, but I just think it's so, so cute. And I saw, um, I started doing research on the item. I started um, researching what to look for as far as authenticity, where the date code was, what the um, zipper and inside looked like. And um, I looked all over and I found this one on eBay 
Um, I, I can't remember if she had a best offer on it, um, but I ended up paying about two twenty-five for this, and I mean, you can use it for other things aside from what I'm using it for. You can definitely um, use it for literally anything, lipsticks, whatever. Um, if you just look at my hand in comparison, I mean, you can definitely fit different items in this besides what I'm using it for, but I just think it's like the shape of it is really fun and unique and cute. Um, anyway, I was happy with the price I paid because that was actually the lowest that I had seen it anywhere and also the best condition. This was like in nearly unused condition. Um, it is, I can't remember what year it's from. I want to say like late 90s or early 2000s or so, but um, yeah, I just really, really think this is super cute and fun. So if you're interested in this item, I could link a few pre-loved ones down below. It's not a current item, so you have to purchase it on the pre-love market and I will see what I can find for you. Um, the next two items are agendas. I tried out the Louis Vuitton six ring agenda last year or the year before. Um, I, I didn't invest in the inserts, thank goodness, because it just drove me nuts. I just ended up buying some inserts from Amazon. Um, and what I didn't like about the six ring agenda or any of the ring agendas is I don't like the snap that you open um, that keeps it closed and you open it to, to open up the agenda because it gets in the way when you're writing. And I don't like the rings because it also gets in the way when you're writing. So I ended up selling that um, and I thought, oh, I don't really need an agenda, a Louis Vuitton agenda, like it's not necessary, not necessary. But I kept thinking about it, kept looking at all different options. And I did end up buying the pocket agenda um, from the Louis Vuitton website last year. Um, ended up returning it. I don't remember why, but I, um, I just, I didn't think it was gonna work for me, but I kept thinking about it. Um, because I really needed a small agenda to keep in my bag t with me at all times to keep track of my schedule. So I kept looking, kept looking, kept thinking about it. Finally found one on eBay, which um, I ended up paying, I believe, two fifty, and it retails for three twenty five dollars currently. So I didn't save that much, but I saved some, and that's great. Um, it came with, uh, he sent a bag with it, which was really sweet of him. Um, and then box came with the ribbon, uh, dust bag, care cards, everything. And I got the monogram pocket agenda. So I'm loving this. I can keep my, um, my agenda up to date and, um, just quickly write something down when something comes in. I, I do keep a Google calendar on my phone, but I prefer writing things down. I just love to be able to like open this up and see what's going on. I, it's just my preference. Um, and then it all has some card slots. So I just keep some business cards in there. And the inserts that I ended up getting are from, um, oh, uh, cloth and paper. And so, I can't remember what this one's called. Um, I will link what I bought down below, but they have really nice packaging. Um, and I was really happy with the quality of the inserts. The cardstock is thick enough that it easily um, slips into this back section here. So, just comes out. Um, yeah, and I ended up getting the undated weekly. So, um, yeah, I'll just show you like kind of a more blank week. So it's just like that. And yeah, it fits perfectly. I think this is about $13 and it's maybe like four months worth, but there's that. Super happy with that. And then 
Um, I still wanted a large um, agenda because I kind of like to spread out on my desk and like have see the whole month. That's just week, weekly. And it's so small, it's a little bit difficult to um, do a monthly calendar in there. I did try like a $2 one um, from Walmart for a while and it was just really small and and a little bit difficult to do the, the monthly. So that one's for weekly. And then I ended up getting the desk agenda also on eBay and I saved about $200 um, off retail on eBay. So I was happy with that. Um, yeah, this one is basically just like a notebook cover. Um, just pulling some stuff out. So it's basically like a notebook cover. It doesn't have any rings. And so what I love about this is the versatility. Oh, also this, very versatile. Let me explain why. Um, this has uh, card slots in the back, lots of organization. So I really, really love that. There's a slip pocket here. And then the reason why I think I got such a good deal on this is because it's hot stamped right here, which I really don't care about. Um, and the inserts I got for this one is the um, monthly um, undated. So you can put in your own month, your own dates, whatever. Um, and then I also got a mindful journal. So it's just kind of like a, like what are you grateful for, things you wanna achieve, um, goals you wanna accomplish, et cetera. So those fit perfectly in there. But the nice thing about this is you can um, put anything in here. So you can put just a notebook, you can shove papers in there and just hold on to it, close it up and hold on to it. Um, so there's just so many things you can do with it, which is more versatile than the six ring because the six ring, obviously you have to get the ringed um, sheets of paper. I suppose you could de-ring it. I've seen some people taking the rings out of their, their ring agendas, um, but I just didn't want to fuss with that. I really, really like how versatile this is, so I'm super happy with that. Um, this just came with its dust bag. It came from a um, Japanese seller. Um, and then the other thing about this one, which is cool, um, is that it could be like a, a wallet. So you could put your credit cards here. You could put a checkbook here. Yes, I do write checks for certain things. Um, I live in a more um, quiet, old-fashioned town and people still write checks around here. So um, you could do a checkbook, some credit cards, and you could still even have your um, agenda in there at the same time. And this could be like serve as a wallet. So if you got tired of using it as an agenda, you could totally use it as a wallet. So, um, and you could, there's slip pockets here and here. So you could slip like receipts and stuff. Um, so I just feel like personally, these are a lot more versatile than this, the ring agendas. Um, and so that is why I like these more. And I have experimented with both um, types so I can speak to the experience. Um, okay, the last item is from Fashion File. I already took the tag off because it's mine. Keeping it. Um, and it came with a fashion file dust bag, but it also came with its own dust bag, as well as, um, I think it's in my closet, but it came with uh, care cards, a little receipt cover, um, and the material cards. Uh, yeah, I think, oh, and the little uh, receipt, um, like, like the receipt sticker or what, whatever it's called. So anyway, it basically came with like everything, um, aside from a box and ribbon, which I really don't care about. I have been wanting this item for a while. I've been doing research on different pouches and um, I carry specific things with me all the time. I wanna make sure that I have everything I need and um, that everything's organized. And it's just fun to have them in cute pouches, like 
Louis Vuitton pouches. Why not? Um, so I finally came to the conclusion that this was the item I wanted to get. It's versatile. I can use it for more than just what I'm going to use it for in my bag. Um, I wanted it in excellent condition. I wanted it under a thousand, which is still, I mean, it, before it was discontinued, it was like 600, 700. So, um, I did think I, I do think I've overpaid a little bit, but, um, it's okay. Um, and then I wanted it made in France. It wasn't a must for it, but I just kind of wanted it because all my other Louis Vuitton pieces, I believe, are all made in France. Um, and so just for fun, I just wanted that. Anyway, I got the, there's the dust bag it came in, the Toiletry 26 in the old style, the original style. Um, I think this is from 2021, so I think that was the last year that before they discontinued it. Um, made in France. Yay. So happy about that. And it's it's in excellent condition. Um, there's the tiniest bit of corner wear. There's no marks inside that I could see. So it's clean inside. And the fascetta is like, barely looks like it's patinaed at all. So hardware shiny, zipper works great. So I'm super, super happy to have this. Um, I just love that iconic picture of Diana and she's wearing like her little summer outfit and walking by the lake or the beach or whatever and has this under her arm. I just think that, I mean, yeah, it doesn't get more iconic than that. So I'm really, really happy to have this. I'm gonna use it probably the most as a clutch, but also like for some, a catch-all in my larger bags, just putting like all the small things that I wanna, um, don't want rattling around in my bag go in here. I probably won't use it for toiletries or makeup or anything. I just always get nervous that like something's gonna spill and I know it's wipeable inside, but I just, I'm kind of like, anal like that. I just don't like my stuff getting dirty. So yeah, I'm really excited to use this as a little clutch this summer. It's going to be so cute. And even though I think I ended up paying $9.20 on, from Fashion File, and I know that's a little higher of a price, but um, I was really, um, I really wanted it in like excellent, excellent condition. And then I wanted it made in France. So it just ticked all the boxes. I'm super happy to have it and I you guys I think I'm done like buying like handbags and SLGs I know that sounds crazy but I'm pretty sure I'm done like I have everything I need and want I can't even think of another thing that I want I'm probably gonna continue buying like long shop bags um, probably gonna continue buying silk scarves and stuff but I just feel like silk scarves are so useful and like you can use them for so many different things that um i don't mind investing my money there but yeah i'm so happy with everything that i have and i really don't think there's anything else i want so i wish everybody this feeling where you feel like your collection's complete um and that's it I hope you guys are great. Um, if you have any comments or anything, like I'll talk to you in the comments and talk to you guys soon. Bye.